in this one what I'm going to do is add the doors to the scene so let's get started so to begin what I'm going to do is just select this wall here and just come around and zoom in so I'm not going to have a doorway here and what I'd like to do is just bring this wall back to this line here and extend this one so first off with the wall selected then I'm just going to hit the manipulate a couple of times I'm going to grab this arrow press and hold control and just snap that back there and if I come around here you can see we had a small extension to represent a frame I'm not going to worry about that there's no need to have it there I'm going to select this one now do exactly the same thing just hit the manipulate I'm going to drag it from here to here and I'm going to increase the number of walls so I'm going to increase the parts and now I can just drag this and snap it up okay so I'm just going to come around here the next thing I want to do is add a doorway and before I do that actually I'd like to add these walls to their own layer so I'm going to come over to layers and with the wall selected I'm just going to move it to ground floor I'm going to do that with the rest of these also and just keep this nice and tidy so select all of these and this one and just to make sure that they're all on that layer if I switch the visibility off we're left with just the ground floor plan and layer one the other thing I'd like to do is move the doors to their own layer I'm going to come over to layer 12 and just rename this to ground floor doors okay press enter and I'm just going to switch off the visibility of the ground floor plan I'm going to box select all of this stuff and I'm going to move it to ground floor doors now we're unfortunately we're left with the empties that create the difference between the door and whatever object they're intersecting that's not going to be a problem it'll be okay on layer one what we need to do is just bring in the doors with one layer switched on and that will avoid any issues like this so what I'm going to do is just switch back on the ground floor plan and I'm going to come down here and get a position for my first door so I'm going to select this section tab into edit mode I'm going to switch to vertex selection and press a once or twice to make sure everything is deselected then I can just shift select these vertices press shift s and cursor to selected so that's my insertion point for my first door okay I'm going to tab back to object mode and I'm going to switch off the visibility of the ground floor and I'm going to switch on the visibility of the ground floor doors and I'm also going to switch off the visibility of layer one so if I just come around here my 3d cursor is at this position so I'm going to come up here to create and add an archipack element which in this case is going to be door so I'm just going to pick the standard 800 by 200 and you can just ignore these no image slots here there were just earlier attempts to save the presets so I'm just going to select the 80 by 200 okay and that comes in there what I need to do is come back to my layers I'm just going to switch back on this visibility and you can see we need to rotate this doorway by 90 so I'm just going to select this frame because you can see that the outline is selected select that press R Z negative 90 press enter just going to press and hold the middle mouse button just to come around here and zoom in a couple of little changes I want to make to the door the first thing to do really is check that it's opening the right direction so I'm going to select the door itself and press R and just open this up and you can see it's opening correctly around my semicircle so I'm just going to right click I'm going to click back on the frame I'm going to leave the model number set to zero okay we have a handle inside and out the one thing I do want to do is push the door back in underneath the frame slightly so I'm going to increase this offset maybe something like this the other thing I want to do is switch back on the walls for a second and you can see that the frame is coming out a little bit too strongly there so I'm going to reduce the depth of this door so let's drag it back in maybe something like this okay that looks a little bit better I'm going to switch off the ground floor that's okay depending on which door you add to the scene you can switch the direction in which it opens by clicking this up to one or having it at zero so now if I open the door you can see it opens in the opposite direction and that will be important for some of the other doors in this ground floor I'm just going to select the frame again and bring this back to zero the other thing I want to do is make sure this is the right height okay so I'm going to zoom out here and just come over to this door here and select it can switch on the manipulate okay so it's 2.18 I might just match that so I'm going to select this door and drag this up to 2.18 okay just keep them standard that's all the changes I'm going to make to this door so what I can do is I can come over to the presets where it says door presets click the plus 
and I can give this a name. In this case, it's going to be internal doorways and click OK. So next time I add a door, I have the option of adding a door with these properties. So I'm just going to come around and add another door. So I'm going to select the outline, tab into edit mode, select these four vertices. Okay, Shift S, cursor to selected. I can tab back to object mode. I'm going to switch off the ground floor plan and come up to create and click door. Okay, and I have this one here, internal doorways, and a door slots in there with the same same height, same width, okay, same offset. One thing I do need to do is switch back on my layer, so ground floor layer, and if I select the door and press R, you can see that it's opening in the opposite direction, and actually the door is rotated in the opposite direction. So what I'm gonna do is select this frame, press R, Z, 180, press enter, and now if I select my door, press R, it's opening in the right direction. And that's it for adding the doors. Okay, I'm just gonna go ahead and add the rest of the doors to the scene. Okay, and when that's done then, I can come over to my layer tab and I'm gonna switch back on the ground floor. I can zoom in here, select the door, and if I press R, you can see it opens up. We can still see the wall, so I'm just gonna right click. I'm gonna select this wall here, and if I come up to tools, and come down to auto boolean you can see now if i select this door and press r it subtracts the wall from the door i'm just going to right click okay and you have to do that for each of the wall sections it's not too important at the moment but just that's how it's done but otherwise i think that's going to do it for this one